A warning about common drugs for heartburn and a link to dementia. And how much fish is safe to eat during pregnancy? Well, here's Lisa Siegel with our Health Watch. Lisa. Hi, you guys. And yeah, we've talked about mercury, and that's why they kind of limit the amount of fish you should eat. But now we actually have a number on this in terms of pregnancy. So they say eating too much fish during pregnancy may raise your risk of your child being obese. That's a new study from the University of Crete. They looked at data for more than 26,000 pregnant women and their kids. Now, pregnant women who ate fish more than three times a week, get this, gave birth to children with a higher body mass index. Now, according to the experts, if you're a mom-to-be, most fish is still good. You don't have to lay off it, and it's full of nutrients, but they recommend no more than 8 to 12 ounces a week. All right, guys, I do. Do you feel the burn, heartburn, or acid reflex, any of that? Well, one in four of us suffer from these conditions. Now we've got a warning about some popular meds you may already have at home. I have patients that cannot function without this medication. Dr. Kerry Strum's talking about a class of drugs called proton pump inhibitors, drugs like Nexium, Prevacid, and Prilosec. They're used for heartburn and gastric reflux, and that happens when acid from the stomach goes up instead of down. Inappropriate relaxation is the culprit. Now JAMA Neurology reports in a new study of seniors over 75, these popular drugs are associated with a 44% higher risk of getting dementia. Still, the doctor says, not treating acid backup is even more dangerous. The main concern is really esophageal cancer. And he says the link between dementia and these drugs hasn't really been proven. But for his patients who are worried about the study, I would tell you, so look, don't take this medicine. There are other me medicines we can give you to block acid. There are natural remedies as well. But I do believe apple cider vinegar has a place. The taste is not good, but people say it makes the acid reflux better. As for diet... I tell my patients, keep a log. Show me a log for 48 hours and see what bothers you, and then I'll tell you what to get off. And for his patients who need these meds. The bottom line is these drugs are very, very safe. I have no problem taking them myself. And I have to say, the manufacturers of all the drugs that we mentioned have spoken out saying their drugs are safe. So to help with acid, here's some ideas. Take away spicy foods, we know that. And of course, you heard apple cider vinegar. Here's how I do it. I just kind of mix it with eight ounces of water and milk. Do you think it's good or bad in terms of soothing the stomach? Bad. I don't know. Yeah, well, it is not good. So you don't want to... Yeah. Take dairy, you want to keep it out. It you got exacerbates it right. It. Yep, you got it right. I drink almond milk, so I really... I don't remember the last time I've had regular milk. Well, I'll give you guys a shot of the apple cider vinegar. So, oh. I already tried that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>